Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Insider Financial Talks Penny Stocks. I am your host today. My name is Alex Carlson. I am the editor-in-chief of InsiderFinancial.com. And today we are going to be discussing three OTC penny stocks on the move, GAXY, ISWH, and TAUG. But before we get to that, we have a few housekeeping issues. We have no business relationship with any company whose stock is mentioned in this video. Insider Financial and myself are not investment advisors, and this video does not provide investment advice. Always do your own research, make your own decisions, or consult with your nearest financial advisor. This video is not a solicitation or recommendation to buy, sell, or hold securities. This video is meant for informational and educational purposes only and does not provide investment advice. With that out of the way, remember to go and give us a thumbs up. If you like this video, hit the red subscribe button, the little notification bell. Uh, feel free to leave any comments or if there's any stocks you would like us to cover in future videos or articles, please let us know. Also, uh, there is a sign-up link uh, for Webull. Uh, sign up, deposit $100 or more, and you can get up to four free stocks between now and January 15th. So that is an option uh, for those uh, that also trade uh, uh, NASDAQ penny stocks. You can't buy OTC with Webull, but you can buy uh, NASDAQ penny stocks, and you can trade from 4 a.m. to 8 p.m. And also remember to go to signup.insiderfinancial.com. This is where subscribers uh, get first look at early uh, penny stocks before we initiate coverage for our regular readers. Uh, this is where you can get in before the crowd on stocks like NEO, MMMEDF, ENZC, and TSNP, which was the biggest runner of 2020. And we alerted our subscribers early at 0008 and has run to 15 cents for over 18,000 percent gains. So that's been a huge winner uh, in 2020. But moving on, now that we're into uh, 2021, have a few things to uh, new things to discuss. And you know, let's kick off with uh, you know anyone that has followed us here at, at, at Insider Financial or watched our uh, YouTube videos, um, you can. We recommend you go and check out any of our uh, videos, uh, our past videos. But, you know, we've been saying this in, in numerous videos that selling was going to hit the markets on the first day of the year. Um, it was bound to happen. 2020 was such a monster year that there was a lot of folks, us included, that just didn't want to sell any stock in 2020 and have to pay the tax come April. So we, we waited, we started selling yesterday, and you saw a sea of red uh, in uh, you know, some big winners like ALPP, ABML, ENZC, DSGT, TSNP, and uh, CBBT. And like, like we said, you can go to our uh, videos and you can look at, we talk about all these right here on our, uh, if you click videos, they're all there, uh, labeled, uh, you know, over here, CBBT, ABML, ALPP. So, uh, you know, there's a tremendous resource on what we said, uh, and we back up with, with what we say. So uh, it's all there for you folks. But, you know, the good news about uh, OTC and penny stocks in particular is there's always runners. Um, you know, and it's, this is why it's important to have a diversified portfolio of 10 to 20 penny stocks is this offsets, uh, you know, red days like Monday. It's also important to own more of what's moving and less of what's not. Um, you know, three penny OTC penny stocks still moving are, uh, as we said, GAX, G-A-X-Y, I-S-W-H, and uh, T-A-U-G. And, uh, you know, beyond owning, you know, 10 to 20 uh, penny stocks, it's important to, you know, f get in before the crowd, you know, find the momentum before it happens and then be patient. You know, not everything's going to run right away, uh, uh, but the key is getting in, having patience and, uh, you know, waiting for the, you know, a few days to a few weeks to maybe even a few months on some of these. 
And, uh, you know, and then all of a sudden you got a multi-day runner and you, you know, you're sitting on a 10 bagger. So they come fast and, uh, you know, that's really why uh, to trade penny stocks. It's uh, for the big gains. Uh, you know, if you don't have uh, the, f the, the fortitude to understand that, you know, you, you approach these markets like a venture capitalist and, you know, if you own 10 to 20 penny stocks, some of them are going to go to zero. Some aren't going to make you any money. And, you know, that is a fact of this business. If, if you think that you will make money on every penny stock, it's not going to happen. I've been doing this 25 years. I have had my share of losses as, as anyone else in this business. So if anyone tells you that they, they're, they make money on every stock, they got a bridge to sell you. So, you know, that's why it's important to be diversified, uh, have, a, have a portfolio, you know, and, uh, you know, your winners more than make up for any of your losers. So, you know, just keep that in mind, and that's the proper way to, uh, to you know, to play trade penny stocks. You know, if you want to trade, you know, day trade, you know, you know, make a couple hundred bucks today, lose a thousand. You know, we hear that clown, Tim Sykes, he's got plenty of openings. He'll sell you a newsletter and take your money, and uh, he'll teach you how to lose money. So, uh, you know, that's uh, not the name of the game, and, uh, you know, that's why we, we, we tell you, it's a waste of time to, to deal with the day trading. But, you know, GAXY, we'll kick it off here, you know, with the with the first one here. You know, this was a huge winner back in August. Uh, you know, shares had spiked from 005 to 06 in, in less than a month. And, uh, you know, we had profiled as a back-to-school play. And, uh, you know, that is one of the ways to trade, uh, you know, these penny stocks is you identify an upcoming catalyst upcoming trend you know and and in august schools are getting ready to go back you know have students come students and teachers come back to school the problem was how could they do it safely and effectively and uh get gaxy had uh, they had covid shield and a number of uh, uh products for facilitating that they've been signing contracts with schools and uh, it it works and uh we caught the move there and it's moving again um, what's happening right now is that, you know, they're delivering, they got new big orders and they have a backlog of, of over 2 million. Uh, and, uh, in November they reported a Q1, uh, they had 1.2 million in sales. Uh, leading up to January 1st, there was some enthusiasm over its visual alerts. Uh, the visual alerts allow for message, both text and image to be sent to any device in a school district's ecosystem. Um, furthermore, to kick off 2021, GAXY, they eliminate all variable convertible debt. As of January 1st, the company has no convertible toxic debt. This is huge. Guys, if you trade penny stocks, OTC in particular, you always have to look at the liabilities and look at the, the if they have any convertible debt. Convertible debt is killer. This is where, you know, if they could take a few hundred thousand dollars and convert it into, uh, you know, tons of shares at, at a fraction of a penny and uh, you know and then they sell that into the market and that's where you get killed so toxic con convertible toxic debt is bad news when you see a company eliminating that you're going to get runs uh, like we've seen in, in the past couple of days in, in stocks like Gaxi. So uh, these are things to look forward and uh, you know that's why we suggest you subscribe subscribe uh, to our channel sign up we try to educate along with uh, helping you all make money because uh, education is a, is a big factor and you have to know what, what you're doing here because you are your own uh, portfolio manager this is uh, you're in charge of your buying selling decisions so uh, the more you can learn and educate yourself the more successful you will be uh, moving on, uh, penny stock number two is ISWH. This is another, just as we said, you know, finding the trend, uh, you know, and, and jumping on uh, on a penny stock that, that banks off that trend. And ISWH is a crypto mining play. It's running on the back of the strength of Bitcoin. Bitcoin. And as we say, these are always some of the best plays. When you have an asset like Bitcoin running, just go looking for penny stocks in the sector and, and they will fall Bitcoin higher. And, you know, ISWH, they made the pivot at the right time, and they are putting out a ton of steady, you know, a steady stream of press releases. And that keeps a bid in the share price. 
and this explains the move uh, that we've gotten over here and uh, this has just been a tremendous runner over the past month so uh, congrats to all that uh, have got in and uh, have, have ridden with it and uh, you know, ISWH, they completed testing. They have a state-of-the-art data center pod. Uh, it's designed in partnership with BIT5. Uh, each pod has the capacity to generate $900,000 per year. At th this at current prices, probably it's, it's definitely higher now uh, with the goal of 10, 10 pods, which at today's cost uh, can generate almost $10 million in revenues annually. Uh, and they have a three-year goal of 50 pods generating 45 million per year. So they're making the right moves. Uh, they're in the hot space. So that explains why you know the stock is running. And they're another one. They just eliminated 702,000 in convertible debt, reduced outstanding shares by nearly 15 percent, and uh, you know a total reduction authorized shares to just 60 million. So uh, you know they're they're another stock making all the right moves. These are the things that you need to look for. You know press releases, execution, reducing debt, reducing outstanding shares. These this is what moves a stock higher. It it doesn't take much, and uh, you know it's a, it's 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 really nice to see what's what's happening here with ISWH. Um, they're also closing on developments and announcements for its telehealth and home health care division. Uh, and they're also looking at acquisitions uh, and that, you know, management believes that these strategic moves carry the potential to drive revenues as much as 500 percent higher on a year over year basis. Um, as the president chairman uh, Alonzo Pierce said, we're closing in on key acquisitions that we believe could significantly increase the scale of our telehealth operations and ramp up top line performance. Uh, our focus is on acquiring consumer brands that will provide access to healthcare advice and the ability to resolve a majority of healthcare needs in the safest, most affordable, and most convenient manner. manner. Our primary target could drive our revenues above five million next year and features technology allows customers to manage their own medical records, access healthcare provider messaging, find new providers, manage appointments, share documents, and data related to care. Folks, they have a current market cap of eight of just 18 million. They're talking about revenues of 5 million next year. These are things that, that everyone wants to see when it comes to penny stocks. They execute this, uh, it's going a lot higher. Um, so we really all like ISWH. Uh, lastly, penny stock number three is TAUG. Uh, this is up almost 800% less than a month. Uh, and you look back, this is the two year chart. So TAUG has a history of price spikes. Um, it's running on the back of uh, some CBD news. Um, you know, this looks like a little bit of short covering. So, uh, you know, we, we would recommend everyone to be a little cautious here. Um, one of the things that, that we talked about here is, is their, they have a new product, uh, you know, CBD isolate that they paid for. And, uh, you know, they just ordered, um, what are they looking at here? Uh, 3,000 uh, jars, it, it says here, 3,000 jars, and it has an MSRP of uh, 27 bucks. So, you know, guys, this is just over 100,000 in, in, in revenues. It's got a current market cap of 34 million. Uh, CBD stocks, you know, we're, we're getting a nice push here, you know, on the, on the incoming Biden-Harris administration, but we still need some clarification on CBD from the FDA. Um, so, you know, TAUG, this, this uh, you know, might have a little bit more room to run, but we won't go chasing it here. Um, and, uh, you know, just basically, uh, this is one we would either uh, sell or put in the hold category. So, uh, you know, if you got in, you got 800% plus gains, uh, this would be a good uh, area to bank profits. Um, you know, and just to sum everything up here, you know, these are three OTC penny stocks on the move that are hot right now. You know, there's always opportunities on the OTC. Uh, you know, it's our job to find uh, the bull markets. And the best part is huge gains can be made in such a short amount of time. 
Uh, we had an alert yesterday. Uh, I'm not going to discuss it here, but it was a uh, ran over 100%. So we're happy for our subscribers there. Uh, we're going to be releasing it to our regular re readers in the next week or so. So uh, we think uh, that one has more room to run. So we're excited for that. We got another alert coming, uh, I think, uh, tomorrow. So remember to go to uh, signup.insiderfinancial.com. Uh, this is where you get first look. We never post our alerts on social media uh, how everyone finds out about our alerts is uh, uh, a week or so or, or sometimes a month later when we uh, put it out for our regular readers so uh, again you want first look go to signup.insiderfinancial.com and you will get the first look so that, guys, that pretty much sums everything up. Um, we wish everyone luck today. Um, we'll see if this, if some selling continues uh, in, in some of the other big names, uh, some of the big momentum plays. Uh, we're getting ready to uh, uh, do another video on NASDAQ plays. Uh, NASDAQ's hot right now. NASDAQ penny stocks are running. There's, there looks to be some more opportunities in NASDAQ than uh, OTC right now. So uh, that's been uh, working out really well. So, uh, you know, and uh, that's, that's going to be our next video. So uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can get the, the latest on, on how we compare OTC and uh, NASDAQ penny stocks. So, uh, again, thank you all for uh, watching, listening, subscribing. Uh, remember to go and give that thumbs up button, and uh, we'll be coming back to you soon with, uh, with another video uh, shortly. So, thank you, everyone, and have a wonderful uh, trading day. Bye-bye.